Booty, booty, booty. I need a foot pump for my water, but I've got tiny feet. What can I do? Have I got a product for you? A baby foot pump. got out of another unending trip to Lowe's. <laughs> Look what we have to show for it. One, one by two, and a little connector. <laughs> wow. Worth it. We're sliding into the 21st century with a drawer slide. 22 inches long, full extension, 100 pounds of carrying capacity. What'd you just do? Oh, I'm just strapping in these bad boys over here so they don't move around when we're on the road. What did you use? That looks crazy and genius. Well, Tara had this great <laughs> idea to take the old piping, cut it in half, and use it as straps. What a smart idea. <laughs> I was not paid to say this. We are putting in our water line. Making good progress on the camper and I no longer need it to be exactly level or anything like that. So today we're going to put the jacks back on and get it up on the truck so we can start figuring out how to mount it to the truck and just seeing how all the different spaces are going to work. Will the corner we fixed fail? Will the jacks fail and the whole camper falls over? Will something else bad happen? Stay tuned to find out. Before we put the jacks on let me show you what the kitchen now looks like. We've made some good progress. Thanks to Tara putting up the backsplash and the sink and the countertop. <laughs> Check it out. Pretty. So the counter is not installed yet nor is the sink but this is what it's going to look like. of putting the jacks putting the jacks back onto the camper this is exciting but also very scary it's going to be testing a lot of the parts we fixed in the corners and the brackets and everything so hope it goes well Opening. It's 1.15 in, in the morning. <laughs> we just finished up our first drawer. We really wanted to Yee. see if we could get it in and make sure it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like a drawer to me. Ooh. Okay, man. I'm not mad.
We out here. Hey, hold on to your draws. Ew. Deep, ready for all of our food needs. Even deeper, ready for all our extended storage food or cutlery or pan needs. Cutlery and that? I don't know. Oh, vertically. maybe standing up. Okay. Tell them about the dimensions, bub. Well, the dimensions are perfect. <laughs> 10 inches on oh, the deep one. 10 inches deep, or actually technically nine and a half because it's got a half inch of ply on the bottom. And seven inches deep here. And we're gonna put some faces on them so they look pretty. Look like a hamster. <laughs> So, this is gonna be the floor of the fridge stand thing. Dometic fridge will sit on top of here. So here's a better look at the <laughs> venting on the fridge space. Each side of the fridge will have a space where the compressor can pull air to cool down. That one goes back behind the drawers. This one goes over to the propane cabinet and down. Should be good. Out here, I'm working on installing a little inlet for the solar power. That'll be done soon. Whoa, look at this glob fest. Front row seats. start been thinking lately we've been sleeping out in the camper because the weather has been so nice and cool at night on one hand that's awesome on the other hand I wish we were out just actually traveling and camping in the camper and it's made me think about how long we've been working on this project it's been a long time a lot longer than I certainly expected we would be but on the other hand I wake up every morning and I look forward to working on it so that's part of the adventure too in my eyes it's just easy to forget that sometimes but nonetheless we're out here working on cabinets. Got the step built in so far, and we're gonna work on the storage underneath it today. This space, I haven't figured out yet. It could be like a little pull-out drop-down drawer, or it could be bookshelf, sort of. Things are cruising along still. It's starting to get cold, so I went ahead and ordered a heater. I'll show you what that's like later, but we'll be installing that soon. Good morning, campers. <laughs> so we lost steam but we're back at it this morning the sawdust plus wood glue combo is dry and not focusing cool so i'm gonna seal it in with some clear caulking and then get on to the next thing what are you cutting bub wood <laughs> cutting some supports for the cabinet for the tabletop area of the cabinet drawer that's going to fold down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, today we're going to be installing our new faucet. So this is a piece of corrugated copper tubing with a water connector on one end. I think these are traditionally used for water heating piping, but what we're going to do with it is turn it into a faucet. And to do that we need to bend it. Although this corrugated copper bends it a little more easily than traditional copper, it still has a chance of kinking. So in order to keep it from kinking, we're going to fill it with water, freeze it, and then bend it before we install it. The pipe is in the freezer. I like that.
feet are mounted into the truck.